Hello and welcome. Let's begin. I wanted to make geometric architecture, so I started simple, scattering points across a volume and then turning the surface into a network of tubes. I tried to use Blender to make this look more architectural, but I wasn't satisfied. I went back to Houdini and used the pop simulation to simulate particles and pop axes to control the way they fall. I wanted the geometry to flow more, and I had an issue of flipped normals stemming from the skin node used to create my stairs. I used a fluid surface node instead of the VDB from particles, and I increased the trail length. This made the geometry connect together better. Reworking the stairs removed the need for the skin node and thus the flip normals. By fine tuning the speed, rotation, and location of the pop axes, I allowed the particles to fall in a more architectural shape. Finally, I was able to add the code I started with after a bit of refinement to form some extra structure. In order to 3D print my model, I increase the thickness of any particularly thin elements to ensure they print correctly. I reduce the poly count with a poly reduce and an attribute delete. I then reshape the mesh twice and use the VDB convert to change the mesh to voxels. Finally, I use the delete small parts node to remove the floating geometry. I chose to use the SLS machines, which 3D print in layers, and can create complex geometry at a semi-reasonable price. I then spray painted my model and my windowsill. I set up my scene in Blender. Using a free geometry node called Buildify, I was able to create the cityscape. Additionally, I modelled some pipes and stairs. I wanted to make the buildings more sci-fi. I headed back to Houdini and again used a pop network combined with a Boolean fracture to break apart a cube. I then imported one of the buildings, plugged it in, crash. This polywire is being generated from the faces of the original geometry. So a high poly count results in extremely detailed polywires. To reduce the poly count, I converted the geo node into a usable mesh by first adding a realize instances node. I then remeshed the building, duplicated it, reduced the poly count of one copy, and then shrink wrapped it to maintain some of the detail. In order to export animations, I needed a full version of Houdini. Friends sent me a way of generating license keys, and after a quite complex set of tasks, I was able to get one. My project was set up in the free version, so I had to remake the entire thing from scratch. Annoying, but good practice. I only really felt like I understood what I'd done until I redid it. I couldn't get this to look the exact same, but I reduced the poly count, so I was happy. I animated the uniform scale of my exploded view and then tried to export a limbic, but crash. I tried to use a Houdini engine digital asset, but terrible. In the end, I exported a USD file, which worked. If you found this video helpful, maybe like it or subscribe. Bye.